Because of the ocean, you got the, the uh, oh, all I the good metals, metals, silver and gold, and all this stuff. And then everything, it's all in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's never had food that had gold and silver and platinum and and the tin and iron and all that. Uh, it, it's in mine. All of it's in there. Well, that's what so really you, makes the body work, right? Yeah, well, we're electrical. We need the metal. We, we can't live on pasta, and electricity doesn't run good on donuts. <laughs> Electricity. Much better on metal. Yeah. We need them. Yeah. yeah. We're basically electrical. Well, we can't live a, a percentage of a second without electricity, but we can live without food for a month or water without a week and air for a few minutes, but we can't live without electricity. We're done instantly. Yes, we are. Less than a second. So you've got to have a good electrical system, and we don't have it. So you have well, figured out a way how to dehydrate the ocean grown. <laughs> wheatgrass. And, yeah. and tell us about how you do that. Well, I, I bought three uh, Excalibur dryers, and I, I dried it about 95, look between 95 and 100. So, so you still have plenty, en- plenty of the enzymes, right? Yeah, it doesn't hurt the enzymes. And uh, I lay it on the trays, and in about 12 to 15 hours, it's very dry. And then I bought a herbal grinder, a stainless steel one that really does a good job. I used to put it in a just a blade uh, kitchen food processor and grind and grind and grind and grind. Oh, I ruined three of them. They all burned up. They couldn't take their work. But I finally bought a good uh, 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 pharmaceutical grinder. And boy, it works like a charm. It has herbs and all this sort of thing. Uh-huh. I, it has a screen. It has two hammers that spin around, and boy, they just grind it up into wonderful flour. Wow! And uh, it, it's, it's so fine that I know that there's miles of surface, you know, that you get. From the smaller you grind it, the more surface you have, <clears throat> and that's what I want for our bodies to have a lot of surface of these minerals in them. Yes. So it forms yeah. into our body. Yeah. So I've got it now, and uh, then I'm getting a capsule machine next week to do 100 capsules at a time. I'm doing one at a time now. <laughs> You're doing right. it by hand, one at a time? Yeah, one at a time. I have a little 50 capsule plate where I put them in. Oh, and that's I amazing. Capsules, put them in, and pop it in there, and then I put the lids on. Well, you're, you're, for, you're forgiven then for the bottle that I ordered, because now if you're doing one at a time, I'm wondering, I know why it's taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just forgot about me. You know? Be patient. No, it's just that I, I'm trying to keep up with the orders I have. That's so, that's so Next funny. week, I'll, I'll have plenty. I'll send you all you ever wanted. That's so funny. That is I so funny. I can do 1,500 capsules an hour with the new uh, gadget. Wow, wow. So you must, you, do you have a whole room of wheatgrass that you're growing now, ocean grown? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a trailer that has racks on the side. and I grow 30, 40 trays every week, and it's going to go up and more and more. i got more demand all the time. So it's coming out. Good. So, so this is fun. So, so if one wanted to get then to that eight ounces, which right now you think that's a pretty magical amount to, for real excellent health to get an amazing amount of minerals, how many caps would you take of, of your product then once you get it available for people? Well, I tried to estimate, and you know when you have wheatgrass juice, and I sell you a pint of wheatgrass juice, half of it's water. Right. You let it set, it, it, there's half of it's the green chlorophyll, and the upper half is all water. Mm-hmm. So I was really cheating people, and I didn't like it. I knew that. And then you throw away that fiber going out of the end of the juicer, and I didn't know what was in there. Now I get rid of that water, and I get all the rest and put it in the capsule. I, I'm very happy with it. You're getting all the wheatgrass and not overdosed or overheated. So you're getting everything you ever need. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so, the guys are taking it now. It's so easy. I recommend eight capsules a day. Eight caps, which would be about yeah. eight ounces, equivalent uh, more or less? It's two capsules make a teaspoon, so you get four good teaspoons a day of, of wheatgrass powder. Mm-hmm. No, but I mean, uh, that would be equivalent to about eight ounces down yeah, of the juice. Yeah, about yes, eight it ounces. it would be, yeah. yes. No, with no water. Wow. Included. Wow, that'd be great, man. Uh, it is. It's incredible. And you yeah. could just, you put it right down in your tummy, and then you're getting all those ocean minerals. No bad taste, no after effects. Oh, that's ever. a beautiful thing. I've never wheat grass once since I've taken it. And the guys are taking it. They, when they work, they tell me they take four in the morning, 
And then they, if they don't have a chance to get a sandwich or something, they take four at noon and four at the evening. They just keep right working. And Florida's pretty hot. They work on roofs and build houses. Yeah. They said, man, they can go all day and not get shaky. That's, That's really cool. Boy, yeah. you talk about a supplement that yeah. supplements when you're getting all the full yeah. spectrum of ocean minerals just by taking eight capsules. Man, that's, you know, who? If you talk about a silver bullet, that could be the closest thing we know so far. Yeah. Plus, it's a survival food. I do think we're going to have problems getting food with the price of fuel and the people getting the gardens to us and the vegetables from sure. all over the world. Sure. It's going to change stuff. Airlines are going bankrupt. It's going to be hard to get food on the shelf for us. Yeah. We need uh, some survival food. Yeah. Man, I'll be like the cattle. I'll graze every day. <laughs> Uh, what kind of shelf life do you think it's going to have? I'm sure that the capsule is such a sealant, and I seal it in, in a bag, a plastic bag, uh, totally sealed, no air gets in. I think, and if you put it in a cool refrigerator just to keep it cool, uh, a year for sure, but I, it's going so fast I don't have anything older yeah. than that. <laughs> Mine are all within the monthly age. I'll be stamping them when I made them. Yeah. And Perfect. once the word gets out, you know you're going to have uh, you're going to have so much business you won't know what to do with it all. Well, I'm I'm trying to get ready for it because people now they're just word of mouth. They're saying, "Hey, I understand you're doing it. Uh, would you provide me? I have a you know a clinic or I oh, have a sure. massage parlor, and I'd love to have those on and give them to my people." So it's growing. Oh, I'm just busy so I get out. You're going to you're going to be a big business typhoon again. Are you ready for that? Tom? Oh no, I no? want to keep it down. I don't want to get. Too big. Bunch of people and all this, you know, from, from all the restrictions you've got to follow when you have more than employees. I'm not going to have any. Sure, sure. I, I want to get machinery. You can get up to a ten thousand dollar machine that'll do everything. For really? The Just oh, do yeah. the whole thing, huh? They'll jiggle them into plate. They'll fill them up. You put the pot in the bin. It'll put his stomp them and mm-hmm. put the lids all on and everything. Now, tending to all that weak wheatgrass is that a, is that pretty labor intensive as well, or can you it's automate some of that? It? Yeah, growing it. Yeah. Uh, no, it would be very easy if I had the right building, and I'll have to change building. I'm in a wooden floor uh, trailer house where I grow it, but I'm going to build a dome with a cement floor so that the temperature stays about 70 in the dome year round, mm-hmm. and that'll help me for electricity. And then I can have spritzers on the wheatgrass automatically spritzing it. All I have to do is put the trays in and pick them out and cut the grass. Mm-hmm. And now I have to go in and water mm-hmm. once a day. And what dilution of the ocean water and rainwater uh, parts per million do you use for the wheatgrass? I use uh, 2,000 2, for 000, sure. 2,000. And uh, I'm moving up to 2,500, and it doesn't hurt the grass at all. It's, uh, I think I'll end up take giving it 3,000. Wow. Grass loves it. It's incredible. I want to see if I can't feed grass 3,000 parts per million. Wow. Like That's pretty know. heavy dose, right? That, yeah, yeah. It's going to get more potent all the time. It's, yeah. it's potent now. I mean, at twenty five hundred, that's what I give it now. Now, do you do you it, use hydrogen peroxide to keep the mold, or with the yes. with the ocean water, do you get mold? Well, all rainwater has peroxide in it. That's to start with. So, what water I catch has peroxide in it, and then I do add a little bit of thirty five percent food grade into it, and all of my batches of water. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, do you I mean? Go go ahead. I I just want the plant to take it up so it has a lot of oxygen to help us, you know. Yeah. So we can get more oxygen and not cook it and get it into our bodies. We're short of oxygen. And then then what's the benefits then of chlorophyll we get from grass? Oh, it also is, it's just like our blood plasma. Uh Except the center element is iron in our blood and it's, uh, what is it, phosphorus? I forget what the green coloring is. That's the only difference. All the rest is the same. Chlorophyll is, again, like our blood. Uh-huh. So it's another, uh, it's like you get a uh, a, uh, a blood uh, transfusion every day. If you <laughs> <think so. laughs> yeah, that's great, man. That's a beautiful thing. 